In the next 15 or 20 minutes, I'd like to take you on a journey to discover what is CTI, Computer Telephony Integration, and more importantly, what can it do for your business? What can it do for your customers, consumers, your sales teams, your IT team, your CFO? What are the benefits? Who's using it? How? What does it take to implement this? And why should you? But before I do all of that, I have to start with a complaint. Maybe more of an observation and a complaint, although I get pretty angry about this. And I'd like you to put yourself in the position of being a consumer or a customer of a business. And you go to call. What do I hear more often than not when I pick up the phone to call a business? Because I really need to speak to someone. I get a message that says, we're really sorry, but there's a crisis and um, the phone is going to take ages to answer. The queue times are going to be long. Even worse, we have no phone system working anymore. And I think this is a now becoming a poor excuse. The reality is that solutions that can allow businesses to implement easy, I'm just going to call it easy telephony, integrated with Salesforce, have been around for years. Now, I'm sure I'm not talking directly to you, but I'm appealing to the wider business community to say, what is holding you back now? And this excuse is getting a little tired. So if you're interested in what it takes to implement this and why you should do it and how easy it is to do it, please carry on watching. So to begin with, what is CTI? And CTI literally stands for Computer Telephony Integration. Although perhaps the more modern definition is Cloud Telephony Integration because everything is done in the cloud. And the first myth I want to dispel is that you're going to need, if you want to do this, you're going to need to do something with your phone system. You're going to need to put software on the phone system in the office and physically kind of integrate it with code to Salesforce so you can get the, the benefits of screen pops and logging and recording and so on. But you don't need to do any of that. So I'll come to that. That's a myth. That is not what cloud telephony integration is. So cloud telephony integration is the ability for you to have a caller effectively through the behind the scenes have that call interrogate Salesforce to know who they are and to route smartly that caller to the right or best agent. The agent gets a screen pop. They get a call recording inside Salesforce. Things are logged inside Salesforce and yet there's no touching the phone, or at least in the best systems, there's no need to touch the phone. You can use any phone you like. That's half of CTI. The other half is outbound calling. So that was inbound, outbound calling. What I want to do when I have a CTI solution, and I'll come to the why and the benefits, is imagine I've got Salesforce in front of me, I've got the contact details, or the object, any object in Salesforce, and there's a phone field, any field, by the way, of type phone in Salesforce and all I want to do is click to dial and I want it to be that simple and I want that call logged and recorded perhaps certainly logged that's CTI very simple cloud telephony integration who is CTI for so let me cover a range of the types of business and we are talking CPG here uh, the same applies, frankly, to retail, manufacturing, so all parts within CPG, of course. Uh, companies doing distribution, pharmaceutical companies, um, software companies, tech companies. Who is it for? Well, any business that has a part of it that needs to answer the phone to its customers or consumers and or a business that makes sales calls out. That's who it applies to. So because it's cloud, it's like it is, um, it's not within Salesforce, but it's an add-on to Salesforce. It's multi-tenant elastic cloud. It applies to small businesses. So you just have say 10 people who need a solution like this up to the largest businesses that need thousands and have indeed thousands of users, agents, salespeople, back office, I'll come to that later. So big and small businesses using phones, whether it's inbound for customer support or outbound for sales. Some examples of these businesses then in this area, Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Benelux, are 
These are all businesses that I have or do continue to work with. So a giant organisation, very global, employing I think around 200,000 people in Benelux, um, a CPG business um, with users across Europe in seven countries, using this for customer service, inside sales, the back office, consumer support. Their customers are, of course, businesses, distributors, wholesaler, wholesalers and retailers. Um, users in the legal part of their business, for example. So a very wide range, back office, did I say, IT support internally. Um, a business located not far from Amsterdam, in fact, just on the outskirts of Amsterdam. Um, that manufactures TVs, Philips TVs, in fact, under license, TP Vision. And that business um, has customer support operations across Europe, actually achieved through um, other organisations that help them out. But their need to, in fact, supply Salesforce and a CTI solution, the one, of course, happens to be the one I represent, but Salesforce and the CTI solution to their customer service agents, managers and analysts across Europe supporting actually consumers um, who call in for some technical advice or assistance on the setup and so on of um, perhaps the world's greatest televisions certainly up there. Um, also here in the Netherlands, one of the world's largest organisations, in fact in their category, fifth largest in the world, um, selling all manner of um, packaged products um, to end consumers through a variety of channels um, and totally global applications here in the Netherlands. Um, organizations, businesses that have stores. So many of the businesses that I work with have hundreds or thousands of stores and they need to manage store telephony. I'll come to that too. So they're the users at a business level of solutions or of CTI solutions. What I'd like to do now is take you through the journey of a call. So let's start with a inbound customer service call. And now I hope you're gonna start appreciating the real beauty of this kind of solution. So previously, somebody rings up, what do they get? A menu in their ear on the phone. Thanks for calling the business. We're sorry there's gonna be a long queue. Um, for this, press one. For that, press two, you press two. Another menu for this, press one, two, three, you press three. Another menu, you think, please, can I just get through? And then you wait and wait and wait. Maybe you get music and so on. So the solution with CTI, Cloud Telephony Integration to Salesforce, will go like this. Somebody calls, let's say it's a distributor, a retailer of yours, a business client. They pick up their phone, they call. What solutions like the one I represent, I say mine, uh, do is they take that phone number, quick call through as an API call to Salesforce using something called Cloud CTI, Open CTI a call to Salesforce, back comes all the data we need to make an intelligent routing decision. We call this dynamic routing. So are they a high spender? Are they the chief buyer of one of our largest customers? Did they call yesterday and speak to a particular agent? Did they just email? And that email created a case in Salesforce and guess what? You've got someone who is working on that case right now. We can make a smart routing decision. It's not code, it's a little bit of drag and drop and writing what you wanna do in a, in a, on a web page. Very, very easy to configure. Now the person rings up, maybe because they rang only an hour ago, you don't even need to present the menu that says for this press one and that press two. Why don't you just assume if they're ringing again, probably the same reason, let's route them to the same person if we can. So if that person's available, we route the call screen pop, the details, the case that was created, the fact that they called an hour ago with an interaction log. Supposing you're busy and the agent's not available, it's a different agent. We'll use the right skills based on the case that's already there to determine we need an OLED qualified technical, technical individual, OLED being one of the technologies behind TVs, of course. Um, so let's route there. We need someone who speaks French or Dutch or German. So let's pick those skills and route to that individual. They get a screen pop. They know they spoke to the other agent an hour ago or that they have an open case um, and someone's working on it. The details come up, bang. Their phone, and just hold the thought on their phone, but the phone or 
uh, Google Chrome, I'll tell you it now. Chrome itself rings, uh, maybe it's their mobile at home, their home phone, but maybe just the browser rings. They answer the phone. Now, maybe they don't want to say hi and the name of the person could be a bit spooky, but they've got all the details in front of them. It's extremely quick, like an instant. Let me just fetch the details. Oh, I've got them. I can see that uh, you spoke to my colleague, Paul, an hour ago. Uh, we're doing this, we're working on that. The goods are in shipment now. The invoice is with the back office team, whatever it might be. Fabulous stuff. A really great experience for that caller and for the agent because the agent has a happy caller who doesn't say, do I really have to explain everything again? Imagine the journey of sales. So somebody in um, the sales team, inside sales or telesales, and how life becomes easier for them because they get a list of people to call. Maybe it's a dial list. Um, they can immediately see through the screen pop in Salesforce of the person who they're next about to call. Ah, it's Bill or it's Sheila or it's, it's whoever it might be. This is who they are. This is what we did last time. This is the kind of organization they are. Could it be a prospect, an existing customer? You've got an upsell requirement to, you want to chase something up. You just click to dial. You can see who you called yesterday. If you're in a outbound sales team and your job is to get meetings, for example, um, or to prospect, you're making a lot of calls every day. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just click to dial? If you could see who it is you're calling, if you could see that you called them one week ago and these are the notes that you took every time the next one comes up again and again. Real benefits for your sales rep. In addition, supposing your sales rep sat here in the Netherlands or in Belgium, but they're calling across Europe or indeed across the globe. And when you call someone in Japan or South Africa or Brazil or Canada or Italy, I won't go on, then you present the local number, plus 34, plus 49, plus 33, whatever it might be. Uh, maybe you present a city code, Paris, Marseille, Lyon, the person at the other end is far more likely to pick up. You get more answered calls. You get more meetings booked or more sales made. What is not to like? So some of the benefits then in summary are to the caller, because fewer menus or no menu ideally, being rooted to the last person they spoke to or the person that's working on the solution right now. Stores. Supposing people are calling stores, they're getting frustrated, the stores are frustrated because the phone rings and they're always too busy to answer it. Well, how about routing store calls to the customer service team who pick up the phone with a little whisper in the ear that says, thank you for calling Eindhoven or Amsterdam or Leuven or wherever it might be. How can I help you? That's because they get a whisper, but the call is being answered centrally. The agents, of course, feeling much better because their callers are happy because they get all the details in front of them and they don't have to wait. Sales happy because they're making more sales, booking more meetings, getting through more easily. Your analysts are happy because now they can see who is making calls, how often are those calls made, how tenacious are our team of people who have to dial and make outbound calls and sales calls. Do they really make seven attempts before they move on? Think about finance. CFOs are happy because you will need fewer people to do the job that is required. If you have less explanation to do, if you have fewer transfers, you'll have shorter calls and you'll need fewer people to do the work. In addition, if you have happy customers, they're more likely to recommend the solution to other people and fundamentally buy more. So it's both cost saving and revenue generating. Finally, IT. Well, they're going to be happy too. There's fantastic benefits for IT because you no longer have to worry about phone systems. And do you want a system, a phone system in the cloud? Well, it can come with it if you want it. Do you want to remove phone systems altogether? Well, it comes with something called WebRTC working in Google Chrome. And in fact, and I'll come on to that part right now, working from home, it's very relevant today in a pandemic. Today it's COVID-19, tomorrow, who knows? But a pandemic, pandemic environment where people need to work from home. And we hear so many stories of businesses and individuals that are genuinely struggling to have their staff working from home. Call quality is poor, um, the calls sound underwater. Wouldn't it be great if you can provide access to telephony for people who work from home without even thinking? First way to do it is called WebRTC. It's a Google protocol. Uh, it was built into Chrome. 
So all you need, if you enable it with our solution, it's just a tick box, all you need is a headset. Relies on a working internet, however, at home and quality enough bandwidth, and maybe nobody from home uh, watching a real-time movie or playing network games and so on. A um, little tricky sometimes, so great to have choice. The solution can also work with home phones and mobile phones, soft phones, cloud-based soft phone telephony, PBXs and so on. Oh, and by the way, when people come back to the office, well, they just either pick up their laptop or go back to the office, power on the computer, open Salesforce, and there is that, let's call it a soft phone, a call control window inside Salesforce. There is nothing to change. The solution just works wherever you go. So starting to wrap now, I work for a company, of course, that delivers all this. That company used to be called New Voice Media. We were bought by Vonage, um, a much larger organization around two years ago. And what do we have? We have a cloud-based contact center. It's 11 years that we've had this solution integrated with Salesforce. Certainly the first in the UK to do that very, very strong in Europe. Around 800 current customers worldwide. And please visit the Salesforce App Exchange where you can see reviews of our solution along with many others. Vonage also provides several other capabilities that are, I think, interesting, of course. One is UC, Universal Communications. So you have telephony today, but you don't want to have your own anymore. You like a PBX and you like that in the cloud, so you don't have any hardware. You'd like your staff to have perhaps a choice of, do they want a real phone? Well, they can have one if they want one. Do you want one integrated to their present phone, your present phone system? You can do that. You probably actually just want a soft phone. So, and messaging and presence and voicemails and recording and everything that goes with back office telephony or UC. So Vonage provide that. Vonage provide what is called programmable numbers via APIs. And through these programmable numbers, and that just means the call comes in, but it comes through to a programmable number. And from there, you can um, have WhatsApp integration. You can bring your own bots and call them. You could call other people's bots, so public, publicly available bots. Um, through APIs, you can call WhatsApp, send text messages, and so on. Perhaps what you want to do is integrate a contact center solution where some of those calls will be routed through to your bots. Video APIs, finally, where you can have a interaction with your caller over video, perhaps that's in store, with some tablets. Nice solution I know of doing that today. Or perhaps it's um, just a application you provide on your solution on the web. What does implementation look like? And it's really very straightforward. It's a managed package. So we provide a managed package. You log into Salesforce as an admin, you run it. There are a few questions to answer. It takes around two hours. And frankly, that's a lot of the work done inside Salesforce. You need to build a call plan. You need to train agents. Porting and pointing of numbers has to take place, or maybe you want new numbers. So there's a project that wraps the whole thing. And that project effort and duration really depends on the complexity of the solution. Is this one team of 20 people in one office integrated a sales source with just a few numbers? Such a project could be between 10 and 20 days of effort, and it could elapse over four to eight weeks. It isn't much more time and effort and duration, however, if you've got a team of 50 or 100 people, if you've got 500 people, if those 500 people are all working from home today, distributed throughout different cities across Europe or the world, then at the maximum end, we could be talking of 50, 100, 150 days effort for large scale projects. Um, the ultimate could be more than that. But for 500 or 1000 users, that sort of effort, duration is now three to six months, things like that. But you can bring benefits very quickly using this solution. You can target certain contact centers, certain types of users, and be up and running within perhaps a month of signing a contract. Just to then summarize, and thank you if you're still here with me watching, we've talked about cloud telephony integration, the benefits to different groups of users, um, and what's involved. And I encourage you to go and take a look at some of the resources I'm now sharing. My name is Paul Turner and I'm the account manager for our strategic accounts um, for Vonage in Europe. Please visit me on LinkedIn. I have a lot of videos like this one, but shorter, one to two minutes on the subject of contact centers. I'll put my Vimeo link up too if you'd rather go there. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye.